Thousands of Israelis are in the streets again tonight, demanding their government make a deal to bring the hostages home. All week, anger has been running high. And we see that our government are full of Our prime minister is a liar. Rather than work toward an agreement to release the hostages and bring a ceasefire to suffering Gazan Palestinians, these Israelis accuse their prime minister of stalling. That Philadelphia corridor. Most recently, Benjamin Netanyahu's condition that the Israeli army remain in Gaza on the southern border. Hamas flatly rejects this demand. The hostage families staged a memorial for those killed last week, which was also a plea for urgent action. Yair Moses' father, Gadi, is still a prisoner of Hamas. What are your thoughts on your government's negotiations for the hostage release? Yeah, we feel they can do much, much more. They need to do much, much more. We feel that sometimes they just put some more obstacles than trying to get a solution. Uh, Why would they do that? I, I don't understand it. I cannot understand it. Uh, I don't find any reason because people's life is the more important thing in the world. They don't have time. The people over there in the, in the, in the Hamas tunnels, they don't have time. Retired and General Egypt. Israel Ziv once but commanded Israeli troops along the Gaza-Egypt border, the so-called Philadelphia Corridor. He says Netanyahu's argument that only the army can stop Hamas smuggling weapons just doesn't hold up. There are other ways, he says, to secure the border. What we should do now is go for the deal, bring back the, the hostages and, and not to stick to Philadelphia. That one could be fixed later on. The head of the CIA, Bill Burns, said today that political will is the key ingredient to getting this deal done on both sides, but here in Israel, Millions of people just don't believe it's there. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Tel Aviv.